FDA wet and dry materials are a well sought after product that we provide to many customers. FDA dry is a very common call out that we see to come around. FDA wet being a very custom product that it is in demand. FDA wet and FDA dry are two synonymous materials. You won't be able to tell the difference just on look. That's how the application dictates on what they need to be dry or wet. The difference between FDA dry and wet is that dry is for dry food goods, such as flour, sugar, grains. Uh, wet would be anything that released oils like uh, raw meat, chocolate. That's a couple of customers I have. PSI's capabilities on FDA materials we offer the premium precision cast sheets. We could do FDA dry, standard cast pads. In uh, colder, colder months here in Texas, we are able to do some FDA wet products in standard cast. On the difficulty scale on FDA products alone, it's uh, pretty high up there. We only have our expert processors pouring these sheets and pads knowing the materials and knowing how they're going to react in certain variations of uh, weather. A lot of different factors to take in when producing this material. Problems with processing FDA wet is the humidity. It's a humidity sensitive formula. It wants to draw in all the moisture from the air into the product, which makes it bubbly, almost foamy. And from what I know, FDA MDI ether is trouble across the board, even in the cooler states of the United States. So what I, from what I know and understand is that FDA wet in the summer months in the United States is a pretty difficult material. PSI provides you certification on FDA wet and dry that certifies that all the raw materials used in your product was FDA certified for wet or dry. PSI internally, as high standards, high for bubbles, high for trash. We set that standard and uh, that's proven to work well because our customers who buy FDA dry, FDA wet are repeat customers. Factors they need to consider is what are they processing? Is there any uh, temperature involved, low or high? Is there any uh, chemicals, something that we need to be aware of? downtime, how much time the product's being used, uh, that could all help us formulate for the most beneficial for the customer. I would advise uh, customers to gear up in November, December months here in Texas for FDA wet. Uh, we get a lot of inquiries in the summer because obviously FDA wet is an issue. It's hard to get. So I advise customers to plan ahead of time and uh, buy, your, buy your FDA wet products in the cooler months of the year.